So as people's expectations, needs, desires have increased, um, we have to distinguish between the process of mere cataract surgery and a refractive lens replacement. The eye having two main optical focusing interfaces, one being the cornea of the window to the eye, one being the lens, and the size of the pupil and the light and dark matters as well. Cataract surgery per se means essentially we're focused exclusively on the lens, the natural lens in the eye that has changed and to some degree has become cloudy and that somewhat impedes the patient's vision. So some, to a variable degree, of the diminishment in vision and visual quality has to do with a lack of synchronization, not necessarily with mere clouding of the lens. If the lens has become extremely cloudy and it's totally white, well, then that's pretty obvious. With cataract surgery, we focus on the lens. We exchange the lens. We ignore the rest effectively. The replacement lens will then suddenly, in some of these patients, bring out that astigmatism that the cornea has. So suddenly their dependence on glasses is greater than it was before. So it has to be potentially recognized. We now possess the technologies to determine all that beforehand, to fingerprint the cornea, to assess the size of the pupil, to look at the back of the eye, the retina, and figure out once the lens is out, what does the eye truly need to function visually, optically the best? And we can then look to address those needs by finding and sourcing a lens that matches to those needs. And you have to use some form of guidance system to line it up appropriately. That's where the difference is between a cataract operation and a refractive lens operation. We offer both because different people have different needs and uh, some people only wish to get rid of the clouding of the lens and they accept that there will be some other residual imperfection. And some people, these other residual imperfections are minimal. So there is a variable degree of need and preference. And I firmly believe people should have a choice to choose what they ultimately want. This for their benefit. We're merely trying to ensure that people have access to the very best technology that's safe but available globally so they can, should they wish, have the very best quality outcome. We will do some initial testing to gauge whether or not there's likely distinct benefit or not and then discuss it with the person on what the benefit would be should they choose to go there or, or not if they choose not to go there.